uh, do you, I, don't, I don't I don't do C plus plus ever, and and I never will. C plus plus is a disastrously bad language. It's, it's it's about as bad as Java. I would do C sharp before I would ever do C plus plus, and and I'm a Linux guy. <laughs> that tells you how much I hate it. Um, but I don't I don't believe in class based object oriented programming anyway. I'm a big, you know, I'm a I'm a big I'm a big um, what's his name Jill Jim, fan. Uh, he talks about class-based object-oriented programming, which is not even true object-oriented programming at all. Nobody knows this. Go watch Jim Copeland's rant about this. I'm not going to do it right here. Uh, OOP. And, um, and, you know, we were doing class bases, and I didn't know. I didn't know. I did not know. Oh, boy. Well, so Jim Copeland very famously in this video that I was going to show you, he asked, he asked everybody, anybody here, he goes, anybody here an object-oriented programmer? And everybody's like, <laughs> one guy raises his hand and he goes he like nails him to the wall i mean you can hear like that the arrow sticking him to the wall and he goes what language do you code in and he says i code in java and he's like and he screams at him he probably almost spits in his face he goes java is the only programming language you cannot program object-oriented programming it and he's like shaking he's like literally shaking he goes, if you're lucky, you can do class-based programming. And then sometime later, after he gets his composure again, he goes on to eviscerate everybody who thinks object recording programming has anything to do with C++ and Java. And he shows you why you're totally wrong. And so, yeah. And so then, and he's like, this has nothing to do with it. And then, and then he, and then he asks everybody else, he's like, how many of you hear code JavaScript? And they're all like, <laughs> you know. How do you hear code JavaScript? He's like, we do. He goes, all right, all right. And you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pic picture this guy being a JavaScript fan. He goes, you know what? You got a, you got a chance at maybe writing true object-oriented programs without the class keyword, because, because, and the whole, the whole premise is, is that object-oriented code responds dynamically to the demands of the user. That means you've got dynamic polymorphism. Not polymorphism. Polymorphism and Jim complains. This is my favorite quote from him. Polymorphism is go to on steroids. <laughs> and it's like, that's just like so perfectly dead on. Polymorphism is go to on steroids. <laughs> It's exactly what it is, but 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 it's the standard thing you learn. Yeah, it's like the standard thing you learn. So anyway, happy day, uh, because the whole world has kind of woken up from this. I think Go was kind of at the beginning of it. Rust was there too, but they were both going. They were both saying, "Hey, we need something more. We need a compiled language." And I was in the middle of IBM. Right